Today's chip kit lesson is 2.3, short I. Let's review our vowels. We have five vowels, A, I, O, E, U. If they are a red color, then the sound is short. The short vowel sound for A, we know that is A, I is I, O is A, we'll learn that later. E is e, 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 you drop your jaw, e. U is a. Uh. So, a, e, a, e, a. Uh. The short vowel sounds. We have five vowels. Vowels are special because they make two or more sounds. And every word in the English language has a vowel in it. So that's why it's important to learn the vowels because we use them in every single word that we say. I'm going to use my colored chips that represent the sound. I think they're going to be naughty today, so hopefully they work with us. The blue chips represent consonant sounds. The red chip represents a short vowel sound. Those short vowel sounds, a, i, a, e, a. Today, we're going to be focusing on short i. I, i, i. We learned that with any of the inchworm. You scrunch your nose and you say, I, 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 like icky, insects, igloo. Anyways, those are some examples. Okay, watch me my turn. The first word is him. Let's finger stretch the word. I, mm. One more time. I, mm. Three sounds. Watch me pull down the sound chips. Blue, four. Red, four. Let me do that again. Blue for red. <laughs> Stop again. Blue for red for i. Blue for m. Mm. Let's review. I m. Mm. Blue red blue. Him follows the short vowel pattern because there's one vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. It follows this pattern, so I know the vowel sound is short, i. The pattern is one vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. The vowel sound is short. This is called closed syllable. Put your fist up, say closed syllable. Last two weeks ago, I showed you this little diagram. If my vowel sound is short, these are my vowels. They're little short stick figures followed by a consonant. C for consonant, which is my blue spelling, my, my blue chip, my blue sound chip, then the vowel sound is short, I. Close syllable. Let's build more words. I'll move the chips and you'll answer with me. These ones seem to be all right, so. I don't know why they don't. It's because the magnets are shaped like a bowl they don't want to work very well. Let's try another one. My new word is lid. A lid is like what you put on top of a container so your soup or your lunch doesn't fall out or spill. Lid. Repeat. Lid. Let's finger stretch lid. O-I-D. One more time. O-I-D. What's the vowel sound? I. Now help me with the chips. My first sound is O. <clears throat> o. Which colored chip do I need to use? O. Blue. My middle sound is I. O. I. It's a short vowel sound, so what color chip do we need? Red for short I. Oh my gosh. Stop it. There we go. The last sound is D. O. I. D. Which color chip do I need? Blue. Blue for D. Stop it. There go. I'll touch the chips as we sound out and then blend the word. What are the sounds? O, I, D. What's the word? Lid. What color chips do I have? Blue, red, blue. What's the vowel sound? I. Is the vowel sound short? Yes, it is short. Let's check for closed syllable pattern. Closed syllables 
one short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. Oh, id. I have a short vowel sound followed by my consonant. It follows the short, the closed syllable pattern because my I sound is i, which is short, followed by a consonant. It follows the pattern. So put your fist up, say closed syllable. The door is closed. My I can't run away. The door is closed. He's right there. Okay, we're going to do one more example. Don't fall. There we go. This time I'll move the chips and you'll answer. My new word is in. I am in school today. In. Let's repeat it. In. Let's finger stretch it. I. N. I. N. I have two sounds. What's my vowel sound? I. N. What's the sound? I. I for the vowel. Now help me with the chips. The first sound is I. What color chip do I need for I? Red, because it's a short I. 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 My last sound? I. N. N. What color chip do I need for N? Blue, for my consonant sound N. Got it. What's my vowel sound? I. Is it short? Yes. Does it follow the closed syllable pattern? Let's see. Closed syllable pattern. A short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. I have a short vowel sound. It's followed by one consonant. It is closed. The door is closed. Put your fist up. Say closed syllable. Short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. Very good. Okay, that's our lesson for today, but I want to show you some patterns. I want to see if you can follow the closed syllable pattern. You tell me if it's closed syllable. If they help you. Does this follow the closed syllable pattern? The blue chips represent consonant sounds. The red chips represent short vowel sounds. I have a short vowel sound followed by one consonant. It is closed. Closed syllable. Short vowel sound followed by a consonant. How about this one? Just because I added a blue doesn't mean it needs to trick you because we're only focusing on the short vowel sound and what follows it. Does this follow the closed syllable? Does it have a short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants? Yes, it does. How about this one? Doesn't matter what's in front of the vowel, only what comes after. We have a short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. This is closed syllable. How about this one? Might trick you, but we're only concerned about the short vowel sound and what comes after. Here we have a short vowel sound, but there's nothing afterwards. If it was closed, it'd be a short vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. This is a short vowel sound, and there's nothing after it. It doesn't follow the pattern. So now this vowel, this vowel sound is no longer short because the door is open, and that's another picture I don't have. So this does not follow closed syllable. How about this one? I have a vowel sound followed by one or more consonants. The vowel sound is short. The door is closed. He can't run away. It is closed syllable. How about this one? Is that a closed syllable? Is he blocked off? Is the door closed? Nope. There's only one vowel sound and no consonants. This would be like the word I. So I doesn't say I. I like popsicles. It's I like popsicles. I, you stretch out I, you say its name. So this does not follow closed syllable. Nice job. That's a little bit trickier with trying to figure out if it's closed or not, but I know you'll be experts soon.